We continue covering Colorado First at 5. Denver's Sun Valley neighborhood came together to pick up trash and debris. Denver City Councilwoman Debbie Ortega led the effort to keep plastics and other waste out of Lakewood Gulch. A Columbine student was among those helping out on the school's day of service. And after the cleanup, they all headed down to the community center, a gathering point for the Sun Valley neighborhood. Our Joel Hillen shows us what the kitchen has become and the lives it's changing. Whether it's a kid or a resident, I think that's so much of our day-to-day -day work here is just paying attention and serving the one right in front of us. Daisy Weiberg is the director of the Sun Valley Kitchen and Community Center. It is this gathering place and a place for community and connection despite different cultures and religions and languages. Every week, their no-cost grocery program serves about 300 members of the community, including Taylor Elise. When I first started coming here, it was out of absolute necessity. We had nothing. Now Taylor has blossomed as a cook and is looking at becoming an employee of the restaurant that was added to the center last year. Ten-year-old Jayshon Blackman has been coming to the center since he was six. It's been really fun to see him just transform through this, this program and he now comes and hangs out with us after school and helps cook and just loves being in this space. After school, he works as a cook, helping prepare the food that feeds 60 kids each night, Monday through Friday. His favorite meal? Macaroni and cheese with sausage cut up. The center has inspired Jayshon to be a cook when he grows up, but not just any cook. I definitely don't want to be an assistant, so I want to be the head chef. A community lifted and inspired from within. I love this place, and I'm glad it's here, and I'm glad I found it. In Denver, Joel Hillen, covering Colorado First.